Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 20, NASDAQ down 15, S&Ps are up four and a half. Gold contract down 90 cents, traded at 1,168 an ounce. Silver down 18 cents at 16 dollars and two pennies. Platinum off 15 bucks at 1,224 an ounce. Copper down four and a half pennies at 301 a pound. Light sweet crude down a dollar 59, trading out at 77 dollars and 17 cents. That little baby, folks, is an ABC structure on the way down to 70. Never mind 75. Bonds. 10-year bond up two ticks at 126.10. 30 years up nine at 141.11. King dollar up three, uh, down 315 ticks at 87.09. The euro is up 73 at 125.25. And the yen is down 48, trading at 113.56. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We have a cash S&P out here, folks, at 2010.90. Uh, uh, your first high that was generated out here was the 19th of September. That was 2019. Uh, yesterday, you got up to the price point of 2024. Right now, we'll see where this baby uh, closes out. So what you have, you, um, you close under 211.17. It's like, okay... Uh, you're in the lower range. It popped its head out there for one day, and then we'll see uh, what type of volume you get on the downside because that's what you have happening here at this particular point. It can't push away from its highs. Of course, we have election uh, out here today. Uh, you know, we'll see uh, how that uh, shakes out. Uh, I suspect whatever side wins, they're going to blame the other side for the market going south. But bottom line, uh, if we go over to the SPY, look at the same setup. Uh, you have the exact same setup that is there, meaning that you're back inside the lower range. Uh, that range, uh, we're 201.15. That range, uh, 201.58. Dow Industrials. We're going to take a look at the Dow, Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials uh, got to a price point out here. Well, is it a price point? at 17384 The high is 97 out here. And uh, the Dow, anything over 350 is saying it can go higher. So right now the Dow is up at its high levels, not inside the lower range. NASDAQ composite is the same way. The composite is at 4623. And as long as you stay outside of 46110, you're in the higher range in the composite. Uh, the composite is really interesting here because you have the gap away uh, from the between the 30th and, November, and the 31st, you get to a higher high, and it's trying to fill out that gap. But the bottom of that gap is at uh, 4575. We had made it down to 4594. Gold contract. We go over to the gold contract. We look at the gold contract. Gold, con gold contract out here. We're at 1168, and what you have is that the, you know, we come down Friday, come down hard. Um, bottom line is that I suspect these lows are going to have to be tested. Uh, yesterday had light volume, today we had light volume, but in, e in either case, uh, yesterday we got to 1161, today we only hit 1163. I'd like to see that 1160 area get hit. Uh, gold needs a sign of strength out there in, a, in an incredible way. Oil. We take a look at the oil market. What we had with oil, oil had busted its B point yesterday of an ABC structure on the way down. You have follow through out here today. Um, this structure, we're at 77.14. You got to 75.84. This is an ABC structure down with the first price projection of $70. So it's pretty intense, specifically because we came off these highs of 103. Uh, now it's running down into those levels. With that happening, of course, what you have, you have gasoline. This is pretty amazing, too, because gasoline, unleaded gas, wholesale right now is... 207. The way the gasoline is trading right now, folks, it looks to me uh, that w you're, you're going to get down into uh, a level that is going to be amazing. And what I mean by amazing, it looks to me like the 188 is going to get hit with gas. 
Uh, and that, that, a 188 will bring unleaded somewhere uh, down to about uh, a 240 uh, level. So it's pretty intense. Bond market. We're going to take a look at bonds. What we have with bonds is this. It, the, the bond market out here, TYZ. Uh, we have 1 million uh, contracts traded out here today. That 1 million contracts, folks, um, bottom line, is saying, guess what? It's rejecting lower price has light of volume, that this high of 130.17 in the 10-year, that wants to be tested. Uh, the yield on the 10-year uh, right now is 2.337. We go take a look at the 30-year. We have with the 30-year, 30-year bond, 300,000 contracts. She's building cars for higher price. Uh, both of these want to go higher. The 30-year, we have that high volume spike at 148. I expect you're going to see that 148 area get tested. Now, King Dollar. Okay, so we have a King Dollar out here today, folks, is this. King Dollar is backing down slightly. The volume, however, is still light. The thing that's uh, concerning in, in the gold market is that even with King Dollar down, gold can't get any traction up. So there's no buyers out here. Uh, we are at 87.10, and it's 86.87 that gold would have to get back inside of. Uh, you don't get back inside that level, that would be saying that the dollar wants to go hit the 89 swing point before it wants to make a retracement. you got to remember this 89 swing point on the dollar, it's been trying to get up to this level for quite a while. Um, and we're going to see where this uh, baby shakes out. Uh, this, uh, this level, you're, you're, the first swing is 88.80. We've hit 87.38 on the continuous contract. Then you get a couple others up there at 89.89. So um, you, you definitely have some higher numbers in the dollar that I say on a longer term basis. That's what it wants to go to. As we're coming into this close out here, folks, you can expect some uh, high volatility. What we've had in the S&P is this. The, the S&P is having a really tough time. This is the E-minis now. They can't make it over how they broke down this morning. Not that they broke down a huge amount, but what we did, when we did break at the 1020 this morning, it came down at 69,000 contracts. The first leg up only had 38,000 contracts. The leg up that I was trying to just do uh, in the last 10 minutes, right, when I got on, had 16,000. So what that sets up, that sets up lower prices as we're coming into the close out here uh, today. We had a question about ANV. Now, ANV, folks, is a uh, ANV. ANV is uh, Allied Nevada. Uh, it's a gold company hitting a low out here today of 102. And when you take a look at this, this is this is nasty. This is nasty. It's big volume. Uh, we put this back on a 10-year basis, and what you're going to see is that you've broken everything. Now, a few of these gold stocks have broken everything. That is a danger in a huge way what the question is uh can this company go out of business and you know the bottom line is that any company can go out of business particularly a gold company why because what ends up happening is if they run out of cash flow they're they're done there's something well bottom line you're uh you got to lower price it has heavier volume and what has to happen for this stock to get higher it has to get higher than a dollar 56 which is right now it's at a 1.06 what you are going to see and there's a couple of these gold stocks that have done this they're testing their 2008 lows a couple of them have done the test done them really well a couple of them have broke those lows you break that low and the bottom line is you can go much lower that's the bearish side the bullish side would be that if we see any of those equities that actually broke here i'll go over to iag for a second iag also broke down IAG's at 185, and if you see any of these equities, if they ever get back inside their range, meaning a range period because they've broken everything, that would set up, um, you know, that you'd not only go up, you'd go up in a huge way because once you have broken down and broken down with volume and you get back inside that range, that's a whole different ballgame that's happening. But right now, um, ANV... Uh, uh, is uh, a problem. Yeah, and that was the spinoff. Uh, we had owned that at, at one point. That's the spinoff from uh, Vista Gold. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials up 16. NASDAQ is down uh, 5. Oh, NASDAQ's down 15. SPs are off 4.5. We're going to be right back.